Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Action Group Manager, which was originally made way back in the day by forum user Sir Julio, but sadly it was subsequently abandoned by him well over a year ago in version 0.23 of Kerbal Space Program, but thanks to the lovely modding community that we have around this game. In recent months, this mod has seen a resurrection, and it is currently being maintained by two forum users in particular, being Explore Clat and Cathar, and thanks to them as well as other users, the this lovely, glorious mod has been brought up to date with the latest Kerbal Space Program version 1.0.4. And I couldn't be happier because what this mod actually brings into the game is the ability for you to manage and edit or even create your action groups while in flight rather than in the space plane hangar or the VAB. And that just makes me happy because if we jump into the VAB, one of my biggest pet peeves that I've had in this game for quite a long time is the action groups because if we grab this action group test ship, the normal way in the stock vanilla game is to go click the action group button here and then select your action group button you want to use, add your parts and what you want them to do, and that is it. That is the only thing you can do with the action groups. Once you hit launch, you're done. You cannot change those action groups again, and that is a bad thing because I cannot tell you how many times I have launched a rocket, gotten into orbit, or even all the way to another freaking planet and realized, oh, oh crap, I forgot to do something with my action groups, and then I'm frantically right-clicking things to try and do it manually, and that usually ends in a giant ball of fiery death. So, the ability to actually change the action groups while in flight is just, it's a magnificent, glorious, and wonderful thing, and this action group manager mod gives us that ability, and it does so by, if we click this AGM button here up in the toolbar, we get this lovely UI for the Action Group Manager, which is how you do all of the glorious things that this mod can do. Now, it's a little bit complicated of a menu, but I quite enjoy it because, well, it gives you a fair amount of control over everything. But let's quickly go over all of the parts of this so that you guys don't get lost. Now, the main important part, at least in my opinion, is this panel right here. This panel has a list of every part on your ship that can be used with an action group. You'll notice, for instance, that there is no fuel tank in this list, even though we, of course, do have a fuel tank on our craft, and that's because, well, this fuel tank has no actions that can be taken. It's just a storage container for fuel, so I can't put it into an action group, so it's not in this list. But basically every other part of this ship is, all the way from the command pod down to our engine here, and, well, that's beautiful. Now, you may also notice that we do have the command pod on top and the engine down at the bottom, and that is because this list is sorted essentially from top to bottom, from the root all the way down to the bottom of your ship, and it is very, very useful indeed. Now, of course, for all of these parts that I have radially attached, they just kind of put them in a random order, but still useful nonetheless. Now, you can actually change this sort in a way. We have this S button here, which opens up our settings for this mod, and the only setting we have is this order by stage. Now what that does is it takes our big list and turns it into a much, much, much smaller list, which is separated by stage. So our top stage with our command pod is up here with our command pod, our inline stabilizer, etc. And then our bottom stage with the rapier engine is here. Problem is, though, with this sorting, I mean, this is useful if you are just looking for something at a stage, but it's not useful because anything that's not in a stage, say, for instance, our, uh, you know, solar panels or any of our science equipment is now left out of this list. So it can be useful, but honestly, 
I always keep this off because I find the main list far, far more useful. Now, up at the top here, we have more buttons which allow you to sort this list in a much better way. Instead of sorting it by stage, I can just look at control parts, structural, utility, science, our command pods, engines, etc. It breaks it down into the different groupings of parts, and you can see that it'll show there with a number how many parts you have on the ship that fit inside this category. A much more useful way of sorting, and of course you can unclick whichever box you have clicked to then bring back to the main list. Now, back to this pane, you can also see that we have two other buttons here. These are very useful. Now the exclamation point next to all of the buttons that you see is a very useful button because if we click it, you can see that it highlighted this solar panel and that is the part that corresponds with the ship and the pane here so that you can see which part it is that you are working with. Now there is a problem with the highlighting system though, which I can demonstrate by highlighting the command pod, which highlights the entire ship. It has to do with the staging, essentially anything in line, it highlights itself and anything below it. So the decoupler, if we click that, it'll highlight the decoupler, but then also everything from that stage below it, which is a little annoying, but I mean, you can, can still find what you're looking for because it's the last part to be highlighted before going to not highlighted. So it is still useful, but still, I would prefer if it did just uh, highlight the part, main part in question, which, ooh, the highlighting, I think is glitched slightly. It's uh, still on on some of the parts. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't had that happen before. Let's just, uh, Click those off real quick so that it doesn't bother me because it really will. There we go, beautiful, we're off. Now the next button that you'll notice that we have on here is these ones that are next to the solar panels. Now this number here corresponds with an action group. So if you already have a part in an action group, it will have the part with the action group number here, and these four solar panels are all in action group one, which you can see we also have action group one down here, which is our only button in this section that is turned on. And if we click this button, or if we click this button, both will do the same thing and bring us into this custom action group for the number key one. Now if we clear that and click this one again, you can see it brings us into the same thing, just to reiterate that there. And this panel is then where you do all of your actual work with the action group. So you can see here we have a whole lot of buttons, which I'll go over in a moment. Uh, but the main one that you'll want to remember is this X. This X clears out whatever is in this pane, and that is very important for one very key reason. Whatever is inside this pane right here is what will become the action group when you save it. So if we have action group one turned on, how you save an action group is by hitting the button down here. So for action group one, we just click that again and it saves everything in this pane to that action group. But if say we have this on and we click custom action group two, oh, it just went into two and you'll notice that now next to the solar panel, we have a one and a two. So if you don't hit this X, it'll then load in whatever you set for your action groups into whatever button you click here, which can get very screwy. When I was first learning how to use this mod, I kept overriding other action groups by accidentally clicking them without remembering to clear them, which is a very key thing. Now, since we do have these in two action groups, I can show off the next button that is important, and that is this remove all from group. Now, how this works is you click it once, it'll say, oh, ooh, do you really want to delete all these actions? And if we click it again, it'll delete everything from custom action group two. So if we click that, bam, it's gone. You can see the two's now gone from our solar panels here, and that button is no longer able to be clicked here. Very useful indeed. Now, if we go back to the action group, you can also edit them by say, if we don't want all of these solar panels, we can click this arrow to move it out so that we only have all, th or we only have three of the four here instead. Now still, you then have to save your action groups. Let's save it to, th to uh, custom group two here. 
And so you'll see we only have three solar panels on this rather than the full four over here. Now you may also notice we also had this button. So we have the one arrow and then the two arrows. And what this one does is it will move all objects that share the same symmetry, which is very important. It's a lot easier than using individually clicking each of these solar panels off like that. That's kind of annoying, but you know, it does indeed work. Or you could click this and it'll move all of the solar panels because they all share the same symmetry group. So if we click that, all of them go away at once and it works. But let's just delete custom action two and uh, then go in a bit more. Let's actually create an action group real quick, just straight from scratch to show off a few more things here. Now let's say we want to add an action group for the Mark One command pod. Uh, say the crew report. Now here you'll see we have the arrows just like we had over here, but they're of course pointing into the action group pane and that will send say this crew report into here. So we're now creating a new action group and I could, if I want to save it to a new one, save it to one of these existing ones if we really want to edit the breaks or the SAS, which I would not recommend, or of course overwrite an existing one. And you'll see, well, let's just save it to custom action group two. We now have the two button here, which we can click. And now we can play around with uh, the other buttons in here. Now, in here, we also have the highlighting tool, very useful. We also have this F key, which is very, very useful if you have a really long list of parts. What the F tool does is it takes you to the part in the part list over here. So if we hit F, there we go. It opened up the command pod mark one, and you can see we have our crew report and the two here, just like we had up here. And we also can so remove that selection from this button as well. So we could either click this arrow or this arrow to send the crew report back into the main list. Very useful indeed. But let's uh, just get rid of that and actually bring us into this control panel again. What I'm gonna do is delete this to show off that symmetry bit again. So you saw the symmetry when we had it in an action group and we removed all of them from the action group, but what if you want to put them into an action group? We don't have a symmetry button out here in these, but if we hold the, or click on one of the solar panels, you'll see we do have a symmetry button in here. So we can either just grab the one solar panel or all four of them, I actually bring that back, or all four of them by hitting that symmetry button. So that's just the single part, that is the symmetry part. Very useful indeed. And then once we have all four of those parts there, we can save it to action group one. And if I hit the one key, boom, there we go. All of our solar panels open up and our action group is set. And say if we want all of our science bits, we can uh, you know log the seismic data do the log gravity data, log pressure data, and even the fluid spectro variometer. Run that all to custom action group two. You can see they're all on action group two. We can go in here and you know play around with all those buttons just as we could before. And if we hit two, well, there we go. We get all these science reports, which are completely useless since I am playing in sandbox, but we do get them. So it's, it's easy to create new custom action groups. It's easy to edit them, delete them if you so desire once again by just hitting the custom action group here and deleting, there we go. But also remember also easy to accidentally copy that command group over to another action group. Always, always remember to clear out your selections. Oh boy, yeah, I, again, I cannot tell you how many times I've accidentally written over other action groups by accidentally clicking on one of them rather than my intended button. But yeah, that is essentially it. Oh, no, except for one more thing. Let's throw that back on and add that to two. And then also do like the engine switch modes. And yeah, we'll add that to three. And there's one more button to show off here. This R. I didn't want to show it to you earlier because 
it's basically useless without existing action groups. Now we have our three action groups here with uh, our four solar panels, our science experiments, and our engine. And if we click this R, it brings up a recap of all of your action groups, which is very useful if you have all of your action groups filled and you don't want to click through them to see which ones all have which. You can bring up this lovely little list and it'll show action group one has the solar panels times four. Action group two has the seismic sensor, log the data. Custom action group three has the ramp your engine and switch modes on them. So it's, it makes it a little bit easier to figure out which ones are which once you do have all of these various action groups set. And the last thing, which is very useful, is we do have a little search bar down here so that you can search for a specific part in this list if you have a lot of them. So if we have, say, oh, did I click out? I did. If we want to find the pressure material barometer, there we go. We just type in PR right there and it will come up. We do C, oh, there we go. We can bring up the command pod or of course the decoupler because there's a CO in there as well. So you can use this to search if you have a very large ship with a lot of parts on it. You can search for just the right one you need and then find it here and mess around with its action groups. And of course, clear that with the X. Very useful, very, very fun mod. I really love this. It's a little complicated to get used to, especially remembering to clear your selection before you look to another button or else, you know, again, you'll accidentally copy it over. So always, always remember clear selection. I cannot reiterate that enough, but very useful mod, very, very, very needed. Why this is not in the vanilla game, I don't know. But if you would like to give it a try uh, for yourself, you can download it from the link in the description. And I do hope you give it a try because it is, again, I cannot say it enough times, so extraordinarily useful. Go give it a try. Hopefully you'll love it. And of course, hopefully you have loved and enjoyed this episode today and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now let's take this thing off, except manual switching mode. There we go. <laughs> we've, we've ripped off the solar panels. Ah, good times, good times. Later, folks.